This macro has been designed to work um, with sheet metal components in solid edge and it's going to look at the um, file so we can browse for a specific folder. And that's going to list the files in those folders. So we can we can choose either a specific file or a selection of files. We can choose whether we want to have parts as well as sheet metal files. Um, and um, the time that you might maybe want to look at part files is that if you've imported an assembly, um, the template will be used on all the same files. So typically there'd be um, part files because that way they can then be um, converted to sheet metal, whereas if they're sheet metal file templates and you um, try and bring in a file that's not sheet metal, it will complain. So um, the other option is to work with a um, specific assembly. So I'm going to choose this one here. And what that does is it looks at all the files within that assembly and will determine whether it can convert part files to sheet metal and then develop the list from there. So down the bottom end, um, we have a spreadsheet where we can set up all our defaults for different material thicknesses and um, material types. Um, obviously, it's going to vary depending on which um, material you are using. We can also look at setting up defaults for um, costs. So um, default material, if no material is set on the file, um, we can add a clamp allowance. So um, add an extra material um, width so that we can clamp it in place for um, drilling or piercing or punching or whatever. And then we've got an allowance for um, number of PEMs and um, we have a um, initial bend setup cost as well as the number of bend setups you're going to need and all subsequent bends will be at the um, fixed price from there. So once you've set that up, um, we can start processing. It's going to start by reading that um, settings file and then it's going to open up the assembly and extract all the part names from that assembly and then just work through each file individually um, using the um, design for cost information. It's going to sort of populate that, export it and then utilize that information. Um, so for example, we have um, some um, just plain part files here, but you know, single thickness. So we can consider that as a um, sheet metal file and yeah what it does on that is it converts it to sheet metal um, then we can extract its material type um, material thickness and number of holes number of cutouts um, so we work out the um, number of um, files that are um, or holes that are going to be pierced if you're going to later cut it and um, that sort of gives you uh, a um, extra cost in there and then when it finishes it um, app puts all of that information into a spreadsheet the spreadsheet is um, built with formulae so once once it's created then you can um, adjust anything that you need to um, fields that haven't been completed in the process will get highlighted in red or if you have errors um, it won't um, it will highlight those in red as well so um, once you once you've finished it you can sort of set the number of PEMs manually you can um, adjust any any values and it will adjust the end calculation and obviously with an assembly it's going to give you an overall cost. Um, it's also going to pull out the number of occurrences for each part and um, it will give you a sort of a, a real good um, estimate of 
what the cost is going to be. So um, as you can see, this is this is a, a, a reasonable set of parts in sheet metal parts. Um, there's only two that are um, sheet metal, the rest are part files. So um, it's having a lot to um, work through in the process. And as you can see, it's sort of um, rummaging through those quite quickly. And at the end, we end up with a spreadsheet. As I said, um, we have the part name um, and the material, what the thickness is. We have messages that it's accessed a part file, but it tells us that it's not sheet metal. And as I said, we have um, calculation of the area. So um, we have a clamp allowance, and that gives us the area with the extra piece. If you're looking at costs on, um, you know what what you're going to have, not just what the final product is. Um, cost per bend. We have um, the bend setup cost, as you can see. Um, these are all sort of highlighted in red because we haven't set those. Um, number of bend setups. We have a cut cost, so this works out the um, distance around the outside plus any internal um, holes, sections, whatever. Um, then we can have a cost per stamping and um, you know uh, what the mass of the part is, piercing cost and so on. So um, as we scroll across it's calculated what the mass is, um, it gives me my cut length for each part, um, how many cuts per piercing, it um, didn't have any of those in so it's just sort of highlighted, we haven't got the number of PEMs, so for example for this first one We've got, or um, well, this one here, say got two holes. We'll have um, two pems in there, and you'll see that the um, uh, value updates as soon as I put in a cost for here. So if I put in one there, you can see that it's it's going to just increment that, and you get your total at the end. So um, this is the cost per. Um, bend or whatever um, or per part and then you've got total which takes into account how many parts are in the assembly so here we go we've got number of parts so obviously for this one here you got two parts and the total cost is is twice what the um, individual cost per part is so hopefully that gives you an indication of, of where we can go um, setting up your Initial template with the costings, um, you can start off with an approximation from previous ones and as you work through it and then um, produce the parts, you can sort of then hone in and, and improve that um, approximation. So hopefully this will um, give some of you some uh, good tools to work with um, costing out your sheet metal production.